few months ago i recorded a tutorial about how to connect the output of easy worship 7 into vms using ndi all right and today's tutorial is going to be a little bit different okay so those of you using easy worship 2009 and easy worship 6 i'm going to show you guys how you can get the output of these two easy worship into vmix all right and we are going to do it in two different computers all right so let me show you the demonstration and after that we dive right into the tutorials okay so this pc is running easy worship 6 and then this computer is running vmix okay so um what you can see here is that um, you can see uh, something that I projected over here, all right? So you can see something I projected and then when a projected device is captured here into the Venice application. So let me, let me make it big here. Let me make it big here. All right, so, so if I come to songs, if I come to songs, all right? So if I come to so whatever songs I project over here is captured into VMix over here. Anything I projected over here, okay, goes into goes into VMix. Whether it's a, a video or an image, anything I project over, you can see that the output have been captured into VMix and then show in the external monitor over here. All right. Uh, so if you have Easy Worship 2009, can also do the same thing, okay? And mind you, that Easy Worship 2006 and 2009 and doesn't have NDI, but I've been able to capture these two outputs into the Vmix, okay? So let me walk you through how to achieve this, all right, guys? So the first thing you wanted to do is that make sure that you connect these two computers together, okay? And then you can use a router like this, all right, for that, okay? Or you can use your hotspot from your mobile phone okay but i would recommend the hotspot from your mobile phone because it is not that strong and fast so the router will do a good job for you guys or if you have an internet cable it can also do a good job for you guys so when you connect these two computers to the same network then you go to google pick any browser of your choice and then go to vmix.com as you can see at the top over here and then when you get to vmix.com click on downloads and then this page is going to open for you okay so what we are interested here is to download this piece of software called download vmix desktop capture this is the piece of software that we are interested to download okay so we have the windows version and that we have the mac version okay so since i'm using windows we are going to download the windows version so when you click on this is going to download it into your pc for you okay since i have downloaded it already i don't want to re-download it again so when you download the file you're going to get something like this okay it's going to come as a package or a zip file like this okay so you can extract it by using rera or 7-zip okay so i'm going to use rera to extract it over here so let me quickly extract it all right so when you extract it it's going to you're going to get these pieces like this okay so let me quickly put it into a folder so that all will be one folder okay let me cut this and then let me quickly create a folder for it then next desktop so when you extracted this how it's going to look like okay so what you are interested in is to use this one over here vmix desktop capture okay okay so this is a piece of a standalone software that you run it on your computer where you are running the easy worship 2000 and nine or easy worship six okay so this software will allow us to send the output of your your, your easy worship into vmix okay so uh, this software we don't install it okay when you extract it you make sure that you put it in a folder like this and then you just launch it okay all right so when you launch it you are going to see something like this okay this is how it looks like okay so 
let's go to the settings and then let me show you one or two things here okay so when you launch it and you go to settings this is what you are going to get all right so um if you want the if you want to send audio into your vmix then you have to select the audio source over here okay and if you don't want to select it you can just put it on silence over here okay so this one doesn't only send the output of your easy worship into vmix okay you can also send the entire desktop screen into vmix okay so if you want to show your case on it you enable it and if you don't want to show to you just disable it so we don't want to show any case on our system so we just have to disable it like this and then uh, you can select this and then you leave the rest as it is okay you can the frame rates if you know what you are doing but if you don't know what you are doing just leave it as it is okay and then click okay all right so we are done setting up our vmix desktop capture at where we are running our easy worship 2009 and easy worship 6 okay so when you launch your easy worship all right this is a worship 6 all right so when you launch your easy worship like this then you come to vmix okay you come to vmix over here so when you come to vmix you go to add input over here then you go to ndi slide source capture you just click on it like this so when you go to ndi slide desktop capture you don't go to local desktop capture you leave it at the ndi okay then you can see that your pc name will be captured over here all right so what you are interested in to look for either live output or look for display two. okay so these are the two things you are looking for when you click on display one is going to capture the entire screen of your computer which we don't want that okay so you want to get only the display two or the live output so let me click on the live output and then click ok over here so you can see that the live output over here you can see the name at the top okay live output over here and then we can see so let me let me let me go back and then click on desktop capture again and then let me go to display two display two here so you can see the live the live output and then display two all is showing the same thing over here all is showing the same thing because they are all the same thing over here all right so if you want to get the output of easy worship 2000 as into vmix this is what you have to do all right and then in the case that you want to get the entire screen of your computer into vmix okay you can also do that by going to display one over here when you click on display one you can see that the entire screen have been captured over here and then you can even monitor whatever they are doing it on your different computer if they are typing something whatever they are doing, doing you can monitor it over here all right so guys this is not something difficult to do now i believe this will go a long way to help you project a very good way in your church guys all right guys so i believe this tutorial has been a good help to you and i believe you've learned something great about it and you're going to use it in your church to help glorify and then implement it at your church so thank you for sticking to the end of the video goodbye